Hello you guys, welcome to another video. I am going to be officially starting my weekend vlog right now. I am so excited, it is gonna be such a fun weekend. It's Thursday, I am just packing to go home. I just started setting out some stuff to bring. We are leaving tonight to drive to my parents' house in Holland and are gonna spend the whole week in there, we have my brother's grad party and a shower for my sister, a wedding shower. Um, so it'll be a super fun weekend. I'm going to run to the mall really quick to grab an order pickup I placed from Sephora and then also one from Abercrombie with two different dress options and also look what they have in store and hope something works because I just, I have gone to so many events like in the past month, I feel like I've already just worn a lot of my dresses and I need a dress for my brother's grad party and for the shower so I just ordered a few and we'll see if anything works but if not I have backup options obviously I it's not gonna kill me to rewear a dress I just wanted something new so I'm gonna run to the mall and pick those up in a minute and then finish packing and head out I think we are going to stop in East Lansing for dinner because we miss East Lansing. Alec and I, my boyfriend, um, we met there, we went to college there, and I have to drive through it going back to my parents' house anyway, so I think we're gonna stop there for dinner, but that's the update. So we're just gonna go from Thursday to Sunday. I'm gonna work from there tomorrow, and I'll take you guys along with us for this weekend. It's gonna be super fun, and I'm excited to see my family. I haven't seen them in a couple months now. Are you gonna help me pack? Oh, you're gonna be sad, aren't you? You have to stay with your babysitter. Their babysitter is coming tomorrow morning to watch them. Yeah, you're gonna be okay tonight by yourself. I need to break my oat milk addiction. It is bad, but it's just so good. I swear there is just nothing better. Beautiful. Making a little breakfast. I'm doing a little hash. This is sweet potato, broccoli, onion, and spinach. Just made some scrambled eggs with the little vegetables and of course some avocado and everything but bagel seasoning and it looks so good. All right, I just changed and I'm about to go to the mall and I look like I'm gonna go play tennis, but no, this is my errand running outfit. I am like so obsessed with this skirt. I just got it and this is my first time wearing it out and I think it is the cutest thing ever. So catch me at the mall looking like I'm gonna go play tennis. <laughs> I have never taken clothes to Lululemon to get hemmed, but I found out that if you bring stuff in, they will like shorten it for free to whatever length you want. So I'm gonna try it with a few pieces, getting them hemmed. So this is what I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna bring this black, just racer back. I can't remember what this tank top is called. And then I have in white too, two Swiftly Tech shirts, cause these are just so long. I have more of these and like long sleeve that I might wanna do too, but I didn't wanna bring in like 10 things. So I figured I will just try it out with these four and then maybe bring in more things later. Okay, just got back from putting my errands at the mall. Does anyone else bring your returns in a Lululemon bag? no matter like what you're returning. I don't know if that's bad, but it's because I don't save any other bags. Like I had a Nordstrom return and a Sephora return and I just brought them in this big bag because I don't have like the Nordstrom, or actually both of them were shipped. So like, I don't know. Does anyone else do that? Maybe, but I'm excited. I'll show you guys everything I, I did like exchanges, pick stuff up, order pickups. I was kind of trying to opening open it and look at it while I was in the car. Okay. Ugh. So I will just quickly show you guys what I got and try it on. So the first thing is a 
brush set from Morphe. I went into the Morphe store and was like, just give me the like the best quality and has eyeshadow brushes. Okay, I don't know how to, I'll get this open in a second, but you can see here, those are all the brushes that are in it. I, hi Rex. I've been doing a lot more eyeshadow lately and okay so this is kind of a long story but half the reason for or the big reason for the majority of the stuff that i just got is because this weekend while i'm home i am attempting <laughs> doing like a trial of my sister's wedding makeup so she went hi guys did you miss me so she had her trial makeup with the makeup artist that was going to do her makeup for her wedding and <laughs> Are you kidding me? Sweetie, you can't fit in there. Um, so long story, but her makeup, she was not happy with it at all. And it just like, like I've done her makeup before where I've just spent like five minutes and just like done a little extra to her. And she honestly liked what I've done in like five minutes better than what the girl did. And I guess a big part of that was because of the product she was using. Cause the salon that she went to was only like able to do use the products that they sell there. And they just like didn't have anything. Like they didn't, have, she didn't have any contour. It just looked like less than her everyday makeup. And it's her wedding. Like while she doesn't want to be like, you know, she wants to look natural. She wanted to still look like really good. So we might be finding someone else, but my mom was like, my mom and my sister, Jade, were just like, this weekend, like, why don't you just bring all your stuff and just try it? Cause I guess they think I'm good at makeup. I mean, I'm not bad at makeup. So anyways, one thing that I don't do a ton of is eyeshadow. So I have been watching so many bridal makeup YouTube videos in the past like two days and like tutorials on just like what bridal makeup should look like. So I've watched just about everyone there is out there and they are actually so helpful. But one thing that I knew that I didn't have that great of was eyeshadow brushes. Hence why I went to Morphe and got this whole set, which I usually have bought my brushes from Sephora in the past, but Morphe's prices are honestly just like so much better. So we'll see how those are. And then from Sephora, I got, so she said she really wanted for her makeup to be like a more dewy look. And I have more naturally like oily skin, but her skin is naturally more dry. So these are products that I haven't really tried before, but I'm gonna try out on her this weekend. This first one is, it'll focus, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow, I'm gonna say this wrong, Niacinamide Dew Drops. Um, they had super good reviews. I did not expect the package to be this big. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, now she's getting in that bag. Oh, she successfully got in. She is obsessed with bags. Okay. Flawless filter. Um, yeah, I don't, I think this is, you can use this. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, guys. You can use this on top of your foundation or under it. So I'm going to try those out on her. And then also I might try them on myself. And then this is something I've been wanting for a while. It is the, okay, it's like a mirror. I'm gonna do this, the Dior Addict Lip Glow Oil. And I already actually, while I was in the car, tried to put it on. So my lips are looking a little pink, but I think I really like it so far. So that's good. And then from Abercrombie, I had done an order pickup. So I just went and grabbed them for two different dresses that I'm gonna try on to potentially wear this weekend. I'm gonna try those on now and I'll show you. Okay, I can't even believe this disaster in here. Like my room is usually spotless if you know me, but between the packing and the stuff and I can't move this because we have a honey in there. <laughs> but I think this is really cute. This is the first dress. It is just like this little, I don't know, it's really like, cute and tiny and just like little super lightweight summery i really think i like it i was scared at first because i oh, oh of course i put heels on you can't try a dress on without heels on but i was scared because i kind of had a hard time like actually getting it over my head and i thought it was going to be too small but once i actually got it on i think it fits well and the length is like 
I think long enough. Um, I got it in an extra small with the regular length. It needs to be like steamed. I would want to wear like little shorts underneath because it might blow up like in the wind. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. I like this. Yay! I'm going to try the other one on. Okay, now here is the other dress. Just a cute little like summery baby doll kind of dress. I actually feel like you totally could wear this like strapless as well if I were to just like tuck in these little straps here I feel like that would also be cute but perfect length this one was much easier to get on um, getting that one off was even more difficult than it was to get it on I had to like flip upside down it was a struggle but I feel like this is super cute too I might wear this for the grad party and then the blue for the wedding shower because this one is probably too close to white for the wedding shower but i think it's cute too yay i'm so happy these worked out i needed just like little summer dresses like this because the other ones i was going to bring camera cord are tight literally the exact same color but these two are tight and a lot of my dresses i found are tight and i don't have that many like loose summer dresses so these are perfect and both were under 50 dollars so that's amazing. And yeah, I'll link them for you guys in case you're interested. Rebar? <laughs> Rebar? Oh, that's what it is. Yes, I was wondering if that was the same thing as what they make with that stuff. Here's our makeup setup. <laughs> so much stuff. <laughs> Nervous? <laughs> no. Bridal trial. Here we go. Denali, are you going to help, sweet girl? <gasps> Pretty girl. She's like, what's that? <laughs> okay. Funny lighting, but... Ready, this is the like gym in here. Ready for the bridal shower. It's a couple shower, so it's like a late night thing. And it's gonna be so cute. I totally forgot to vlog the entire day yesterday at the grad party. So I'm gonna be better today and try and remember to film a little bit while we're at the shower. It's gonna be so pretty and so fun and I did Jade's trial makeup and it's not exactly how we're gonna do it for the wedding but it looks so good so I will show you once she's all ready um, how that looks but this is just the little Abercrombie dress I showed you and I put it with some gold earrings and necklaces bracelets let's go find people <laughs> You ready? Let's see who else we can find. Oh, it's Ben. I was just about to knock. Oh, this is embarrassing. I don't think you want that in the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's downstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks cute. Super what cute. Is, what are you wearing? Um, it's a good question. Not this. <laughs> Just harassing the whole family. Got our boys pre gaming. <laughs> Dad does not want to be in the vlog. Ben is natural on camera. I'm gonna do a zoom on you. And there's our bride to be. Look how pretty. <laughs> you look so pretty. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't see <laughs> yeah. okay. it's a lemon chow. And then can everybody get a ring? They're just so cute. Okay, so when you get a chance, you need to come and get a ring. And, and, and you'll see next to the 
Hello you guys. Okay, I just got back from the pool. It is a little after five and I'm already getting hungry. So I'm gonna make a little dinner and I figured I would show you guys what I'm making. First, I just cut up and quartered some like mini golden uh, potatoes and then I covered them in some olive oil and salt and pepper. And then I put this Bragg um, 24 herb and spices seasoning. I didn't have like any fresh herbs or anything to put on it right now So that's what we're going with and I'm just gonna Put them in the oven at 450 for like 20 minutes and we'll see how they turn out With the potatoes while they're cooking. I'm making Broccoli, it's probably kind of loud because it's like popping because I just put a bunch of Avocado oil on the pan, but I am just pan What do you call this like? roasting Frying, frying, like a stir fry. I'm just making some vegetables in a pan, <laughs> some broccoli. And then in this pan, I am going to make these salmon burgers. Um, we get these from Costco. And if you have a Costco near you, I would definitely recommend. I love them. They're wild caught um, Alaskan salmon. So it's like high quality salmon. And then it's made already into a burger. And like the ingredients are really relatively very simple and clean it's so easy for just making a quick dinner like this and honestly like such good flavor they taste really good thank you okay this is the finished dinner you probably think the broccoli looks super burnt but this is just how we like it really crispy and potatoes this is what the burgers look like finished and then i like putting just ketchup on it this is the primal kitchen ketchup you can get it at like Target, but it doesn't have any sugar in it and it's a lot better in my opinion than regular ketchup. So we're going to eat now. <laughs> Hot. Okay, I am in a giant t-shirt and shorts because I just put it finished putting the self tanner on. Use this again, I have been loving this. It does like, it goes on really dark and then it washes off quite a bit, but I just blow dry my hair while I'm letting it sit and then I need to rinse it off in a little but I feel like it's gonna be a good color. I've been using this mitt I got from Target and just washing it afterwards and it's working and it's working pretty well. Better than the disposable ones I think but I'm just gonna let this sit for a while I guess maybe another hour and then body wash i could leave it overnight but i hate 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 like when it stains your sheets and leaves your sheets gross i know it comes out it's just 
annoying and I just changed my sheets yesterday. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna wait and wash it off and then go to bed. It doesn't even look that dark on camera, but like I swear in person I look really dark. But okay, good night.